So now that we've finished in the query, uh, the data modeling area, we now jump in. We now jump into our our canvas area. So this is where we're going to do all our development. It's where we're going to build our measures. It's where we're going to um, create our reports, our visualizations, and so on and so forth. Let's just have a quick look at the uh, the Power BI desktop model so we know where where certain things are. We've got this intuitive ribbon up the top. We've got some panes down the side here. So we've got our visualization area. So our visualization palette, I like to call it. And then we've got our field section. Now the field section shows you all the different data tables you've got. And within each of those data tables, you've got all the different data columns, which, um, which we will then use in different um, visualizations or use the columns for different calculations, etc. Now I'm going to show you how you can arrange all of these and, and sort all of these so that it becomes, you know, and create a really intuitive, uh, a really intuitive model, a really, um, a really best practice built model uh, with, with, uh, with all, the, all, the, all the things that you're meant to be doing in Power BI um, that will make your analysis really, um, really compelling, really pop. Now we've also got our value section here and here is where you can actually create some additional filters as well. Now the paint roller here is where you'll do a lot of the editing of different visuals and different information, different pieces of information. Now let's actually start using Power BI, uh, the, start doing stuff in the canvas. Now there's a number of different ways that you can actually start doing this. What you can do is you can actually drag things like so into the canvas. So in this case, we're just dragging the quantity column. <coughs> and we're just dragging it into the canvas and what Power BI is gonna do is it's gonna run the calculation over it. So it's gonna do a sum over quantity. What you can also do, if you if you come across to this, uh, if you click on that visual now and you come across to the, uh, the value section, you can see that you can actually change this. So you can actually grab an average, you can grab a minimum, maximum and so on and so forth. There's a number of variance, medium, there's a number of different selections you can make there. Now that's that's great. You can do you can do um, you can you can get the calculations you want like so. Then if you bring a dimension, so in this case we're going to try to find our product name here. If you bring that dimension up into the axis field you'll see that now we can actually create some visualizations. And it's very easy to create other visualizations as well. All you have to do is go copy and paste, and then you can then say drag a different customer name, the, the customer name dimension in there, and then now we're getting the quantity sold for different customers. Now what I'm gonna recommend here is that all, whilst it's great that you can create these calculations in um, by dragging and dropping columns into Power BI. It's amazing that you can do that and you can get started. What I'm gonna recommend though is that we wanna always at all times create measures. And so I'm gonna go through what measures are and um, how you can actually create them now. A measure is like a virtual calculation. What you can do is that you can look at a, you can reference a particular column and you can actually run a calculation over that column virtually and only run it if, it's at, if, if that measure is actually used inside a visual, a visual or a table or, or, or a chart. Now, how we create a measure is we first of all want to select a table uh, that we want the measure to be in. So in this case, I'm, I want to be inside the sales table. And then in the home tab, we have a, a selection here uh, under calculations called new measure. Now, if you select that, you'll see that this formula bar comes up and we can now actually write a measure on our table. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna write a really simple measure. So I'm gonna just count up, in, in our sales data table, we have a column called quantity. So I'm gonna create a measure called total quantity. And then I'm going to go sum quantity and all I've got to do is type in a, a small amount of the column and then IntelliSense actually brings up the entire 
uh, column name for me and then all I have to put, do is push tab and then push enter and then now I've got uh, my first measure and so this measure can then be dragged into the canvas like so and we will retrieve exactly the same information that we have here so I can um, I can let's just get rid of that one I can copy and paste this one here and I can instead of having the quantity column I can put the total quantity measure in there and we'll get exactly the same result now you're probably wondering why I'm saying you should always do measures now there's the, the, there I'm, I'm and I'm I'm absolutely saying that at all times you should try and use measures because you can do far more with measures if you think about the power of, of, of uh, at your hands or the power of the eye if you don't create measures you're missing out on 95% of the power of power the eye uh, measures is, uh, are um, are created by what are called DAX formula and DAX DAX formula stands for data analysis expressions and it is a formula language specifically made for incredible advanced data analysis and that's really what you want to be doing in power you want to be doing some advanced analysis and by writing me writing measures is the only way to do that if you're just dragging in columns you're you're really only ever going to stay or be at stage one of what you can achieve in Power BI. And it's not difficult to create simple measures. I like to call them core measures. You can create them, you know, all you've got to write is different or sums or averages, min, max, so, so on and so forth. There's a few different uh, calculations that you have to do as well.